да. Легёч, приняли? Приняли, приняли. Приняли. Все, да. Dear crew members, dear guests, congratulations on your successful landing. We are happy to welcome you on our Kazakh soil. How many experiments did you do? Well, I'm talking about the entire crew. The time we spent was long and uh, our mission was not just to fly in there, not just to show how cool we live off Earth. And I know that Terry and Samantha, and probably Samantha most of all, spend her own time, even at night, she would do whatever she could for the benefit of the space program. Anton, please pass your mic to Terry. I don't even know how many experiments. Every single day. It was very intensive. So NASA astronaut Terry Virts, freshly arrived from space. Welcome back, uh, welcome back to Earth, first of all. Um, how was that ride down? How are you feeling right now? That was an amazing ride. I've had the opportunity to do a lot of interesting things, but I've never done anything like that. Um, the Soyuz it worked great. Uh, you could see the Earth going by. You could see the different parts of South America and Africa and pick out the Nile River and the coastline and the jungle and stuff. It was, it was pretty neat to see that. And then when the separation happened, you could see some of the covering of the vehicle come off and it kind of hung around for a while and then floated off. So there, there was a lot of things happening. When the parachute came out, the vehicle was tumbling like crazy for about 20 seconds before it settled out. And um, of course the landing is a big giant bang. And, uh, but it was good, there was nothing, there was no damage, I felt fine and it was a pretty exciting ride home. So you were there for the PMM move and you did three spacewalks earlier this year and all that's getting us ready for commercial crew and the international docking <clears throat> adapters. What was it like to be part of those EVAs? How it was exciting, you know, the first decade or so of the station program was assembly and then we moved into utilization, but I'm kind of looking right now, we're in a period of reconfiguration and we're moving a lot of things around. And it was just, for lack of a better word, it was cool to be there for right in the middle of doing spacewalks and a lot of also work on the inside and outside of the station to get ready for not only crew vehicles, but cargo vehicles um, in, a, in, a, in a more intensive way. So it was exciting. And the International Space Station, you were part of an international crew. You just came home with Anton, a Russian cosmonaut, and Samantha, an Italian astronaut. What was it like being up there with them the whole time? You know, I just had to say goodbye to Anton. He's on his way to Moscow right now. And that was sad. We've been together 200 days, yes, in space, but three years, in, including training. So, um, and we were with them every day, you know, for a lot of the day every day. And it was great. Uh, in the in the bus, we, they were both leaning on me, and so it's going to be kind of hard to say goodbye. It's a this giant experience of coming back to Earth. You land, you're getting used to it's dizzy right now, and then all of a sudden, the people you've been with just scatter to the four winds. So um, it's a it's a lot happening in one day. Uh, what is the first impression just when you get back on Earth? The first thing is really the weight. I mean, you know, your body weighs so much. Everything that you try to hold in your hands weighs so much. You're trying to, you know, j just just reach with your hand that it weighs so much. Um, you know, we were, uh, you know, just starting the reentry, and I was looking at the number of Gs, and we were like at 
you know, one, two Gs, and I already felt like it, it was six or seven. It just felt so much. And then we went all the way up to 4.1. And I mean, such, an, <laughs> such a different feeling after being weightless and floating for six months. And when they opened the capsule, the air, did you feel something special? Even before that, actually, we equalized pressure with the uh, with the atmosphere um, high up high at altitude, and so uh, even at that point, uh, we, we you know there, there was some uh, some I don't know how to describe it, but some feeling that it was real air that was coming in. And then as we came down, uh, even before they opened the hatch, I think we told to each other, "Hey, can you can you smell the the grass?" I mean, it's, it's been an amazing day. I mean, Kazakhstan covered in green, um, very special, and we could really smell the the grass. Thank you.